Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding the person you are dealing with. We're going to look at what they're thinking, um, you know, how what their current energies are, um, what their intentions are, how they view you, and what are their mutual energies between you two. So we're going to also be looking at what they would tell you if they had the chance. So all of that we're going to discuss today. Um, all right, Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's look at what your person is currently, what are their current energies right now? Spirit, what are the current energies for the person that Aquarius is connecting with right now? Current energies for Aquarius, the person that they're connecting with. What are the current energies for the person that Aquarius is connecting with? What are their current energies at this time? Ooh, woman holding a heart. Okay. The current energy is at this point. Ooh. Peaks of joy. Beautiful. Oh, and look, we have a 33 and a 44. And, oh, and before, I, I, I guess I got ahead of myself. Stuck in the mud. Someone's feeling a little bit stuck right now. It's at the bottom hostilities yikes all right so let's get into this so this person's feeling a little bit stuck however there's a lot of love or they have their eye on someone here with women holding a heart um just because there's a woman doesn't mean that this person is a woman it's just this is the energy of for me it's the queen of cups energy someone very caring um someone who has a lot of love for someone else they want to give their heart to someone else right i feel like that's what this person is currently experiencing um, peaks of joy. So there's um, a feeling of joy, happiness, freedom here. However, they're stuck in the mud. Possibly by fear or other circumstances. We'll see. I get the feeling that this person is going after their happiness. Wanting to make an offer. But they're a little bit stuck. So let's see, how does this person view you, Aquarius, or this connection? Spirit, how does this person view Aquarius or the connection? How does this person view Aquarius? What do they think of Aquarius or this connection? What does this person think of Aquarius or this connection with Aquarius? What are they thinking? Turtle. Okay, I'm going to have to look that one up again. But turtles are usually very wise. They collect a lot of life experience. They have a lot of life experience. Cobra. Okay, so this is someone who is very protective. Um, they're watching and waiting. So this person could just be watching you right now. Um, I also feel like they want to protect you or they want to protect this connection for some reason. Tell me more, how does this person view Aquarius or this connection? Horse, yeah. So this person wants to have long-term commitment here with you. They see you as their freedom, almost like they can be free with you, free to be themselves. Um, they want to move towards you. Um, they see you as someone supportive. They see this connection being able to withstand a lot of things to really go the distance here with the horse. Ooh, tarantula at the bottom of the deck. So someone has to make a decision here. So let me look at this turtle rip quick. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything that I could say to some of you that could resonate. Okay. Grounded, trusting at home in the self. Turtle has a strong relationship with earth and water. They're very grounded, connected to the deeper truths of life. They collect life experiences under their shells for later use. So this is someone, I feel like this person sees you as someone very grounded and wise. They also see you as overcoming a lot of difficult obstacles and learning from them, right? Not, not letting them hold you back. And I feel like this person's watching you. 
right now, you know, like not, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny if you like turned around and they were right there? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but like they're watching you on social media or keeping tabs on you is what I'm getting. So what would this person tell you if they had the chance? What would this person tell you if they had the chance? Spirit, what would this person tell Aquarius if they had the chance? This person told Aquarius. Well, this person told Aquarius that they had the chance. It wasn't the right time. Okay. What else? What else would this person tell Aquarius that they had the chance right now? I screwed up. Okay. What else would they tell Aquarius? They had the chance. You make me happy. Okay, so that's what that piece of joy is about. They recognize that you make them happy. Bottom of the deck, I regret everything that happened. So this person has regrets. Um, I feel like that's keeping them stuck. Something is keeping this person stuck in the mud here. So what are the mutual energies between you? Guys, please bear with me as I shuffle this massive deck. I love it so much, but it's it's pretty big. What are the mutual energies between Aquarius and this person's spirit? Mutual energies between them. Mutual energies. Aquarius and this person. Mutual energies. I only ever split the deck with this deck because I can't really shuffle it. I've tried. It doesn't work. Wow. Page of Swords. See, this person is watching you, Aquarius. I got that energy very clearly. Nine of Swords reverse. This person is seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. I feel at some point they were stressed or anxious about this. But I think they're, they've, they're overcoming that. Two of Swords. Decision time. They could go either way here. You see, I love these, these um, tarot cards so much. There's two paths this person could go down. Um, and they're stuck making a decision. That's probably what the stuck in the mud is about. Ace of Swords. Clarity. New beginning. Truth. Communication. Bottom of the deck, the sun reversed. So I feel like with the sun reversed, for me, it doesn't just symbolize unhappiness, but it all, it symbolizes that what you thought was going to make you happy didn't make you happy, right? Or didn't make you as happy as you thought. So let's see. Let's clarify these messages further here. I'm going to use the Lightseer's Tarot. I love this deck too. All right, Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Aquarius. As far as signs, I see um, a lot of air energy. Actually, all of these are this is serious air energy here. It could be a, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing a lot of communication here. A lot of thoughts regarding this. Oh, my gosh. My, <laughs> that's the only thing I don't like about those um, Druid tarot cards. They move so much they don't stay still because I don't have like a, a clock. All right, Spirit, help me clarify these energies. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords. This is, this is communicating here, a message coming in from someone. So they want to communicate. Six of Swords. Wow, they could be um, on their way to you. There could be distance between you, um, or this person wants to communicate that they want to, they want to move forward with you, possibly. This person's left a situation that was not balanced and is headed towards something more peaceful. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this offer is coming in. Someone wants to talk to you about an offer. They traveled to make this offer. Anything else? For this page of swords. Whoa. 
Hold on. Hold on. Anything else for this page of swords? For Aquarius? We got judgment and temperance. Beautiful. So someone here is making a judgment call. Someone wants to come together, make something work here with temperance, you know, trying to merge the two of you together, trying to come together. Um, possibly some, also someone that's trying to be patient. Um, Page of Pentacles, this is someone that's not very quick, okay? They take their time, but it's a solid offer. I feel like this person has also been evaluating the judgment calls that they've made in the past. Um, they've learned from the decisions that they've made. This person could be wanting a, a, a second chance or a rebirth of some sort here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. Celebration, happiness, peaks of joy. Tell me about this Nine of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Nine of Swords reverse. Ace of Swords again. Yeah, this person has high clarity and it's like they can see a way out of the situation that they are in or whatever they were feeling very um, nervous or anxious about. It's like there's a knowing now that is helping them get out of that energy. Five of Wands. There could be a little bit of competition here. Possibly some interference. Why the Five of Wands? Okay. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed for me is someone who's not feeling very stable or secure. This is also someone who's not single. With the Five of Wands, there's competition, arguing not seeing eye to eye, possibly jealousy. This person could be thinking that, th that they have to compete for you, that they have to win your heart. Almost like they need to get to, they need to bypass whatever interference they need to bypass to get to you because if they don't, it'll be too late. I'm getting that energy. They could be going through um, financial difficulties right now, so they don't feel as confident as, as they would otherwise. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords reverse. Page of Swords reversed. So this, is, this could be um, conflict here based off of misinformation, misunderstandings. This conflict could be delaying a message. Or whatever conflict this was, it caused some anxiety. But someone is seeing the truth about something. And it's taking them out of that funk. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Ooh. The Tower Reversed. So this is someone who, is this like a close call for me, the tower, or it could be mean absolute ruin. Um, but because I have the two of swords here, it's like someone wants to avoid a tower moment. So they want to make a right the right decision here. Tell me more about this two of swords. King of Pentacles. Okay, someone wants to be stable, grounded here. Someone's thinking about things logically. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. The King of Pentacles is just someone very methodical, analytical. They like to do things right. Oh my God, the Ace of Pentacles. Someone here is going to choose a different path. They haven't made the decision yet, I don't think, because the King of Pentacles, he takes his time. He is very detail-oriented, so he's going to think about things a lot. But I have three Aces here, so this is a new beginning for this person. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yep, Ten of Swords Reverse. Overcoming a painful situation, closing a painful chapter here completely and healing from that. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. 
three of pentacles to rebuild someone also wants to work with you it's like they see you as someone they can grow with anything else for ace of swords someone wants to clear the air it's like they want to communicate what they know now what they understand now there's the wheel complete change the the wheel turning for for it's almost like very good luck fortune faded it's like this is everything that i mean it's almost like this is divinely guided here because i have temperance i have judgment these two cards are usually there um, there's an angel in the traditional tarot so i'm getting a lot of like maybe possibly divine interference where they're stepping in to correct something here to write something here tell me more about the ace of swords for aquarius look at that the star there you are aquarius beautiful there's going to be healing in this connection based off of open communication based off of truth knight of swords again with the swords this is someone rushing to you to communicate to express to deliver truth and on and, and and clarity you know i feel like someone here is like they can't wait to tell you what they've learned or they can't wait to talk to you to open up and see where this goes once that hurdle is overcome right i feel like right now they're a little bit stuck possibly because they know they screwed up they're, they're you know they, they know they have to make a decision a different decision than the path they're on right now and you know i feel like they you are their wish and you are what they want and i don't know there's just so much good energy here new beginnings for sure someone who wants to build something with you someone who wants to open up and be honest with you this is definitely not someone who takes advantage of a situation or has negative or, or, or has bad intentions uh, this is not that person if you're dealing with someone who is you know quite frankly a terrible person someone with no morals or values and doesn't really learn from their mistakes and treats you like trash that is not this person that is not king of pentacles energy i can tell you that right now and that person you know this judgment card this is all about an awakening um this is all about karma learning from your mistakes making a judgment call based off of everything that you've learned you know so this is not someone stuck in old cycles or or stuck in unhealthy or toxic energy this is someone that's overcome that that has grown from that okay someone who's open to give you their heart okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope it resonated with most of you if it did please let me know i love hearing from you if it didn't it just wasn't your reading this time around the message was for someone else so check out your other placements those might resonate more uh thank you again to everyone who's liked commented subscribed i really appreciate it please consider subscribing or liking this video if you enjoy my readings and i'll see you guys in another video take care